Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Hey, excited to be back here with Keith Good. Yeah, he's our Reiki practitioner, energy healer, and so much more uh, from Good's Holistic Healing. Please welcome Keith Good. Do I dare say from Billings, Montana, or are we moving? Or just maybe not We're that moving. far? I'm still- <laughs> I was still sitting in Billings, but I'm moving, and within the next few days, we're headed south. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Not, what an adventure. Sure. I'm not sure where, but we don't, we're homeless right now. <laughs> but you got an RV and camper. You're not that homeless. Your guys are okay, right? I got it. Yep, we have a camper. I'm in it right now. Tell me about this move. Star- I'm Star- just tell me, tell me what, what happened. Why, where, where, why, what's happening in the universe to make you do this move? Well, this move has been planned for several years, actually, oh, and uh, yeah. it's just been a it's just been a, uh, a process. You know, you have to do so many things. You have to get to a point where you can can do that. And we had to retire. I say we because it's the wife and I. Yeah. We had to retire and uh, be able to get everything done. And we put the house up for sale here several months ago, and finally went through this Monday. So now we're headed south. We're not. Uh, not exactly sure where, but it looks like right now we're going to be going to Colorado. Okay. Which is a, which is a little more, uh, I don't know, it's not going to be any much better weather, but it won't be quite as cold. Here we get literally get to 20 below zero without, a, without thinking about it. Amazing. And uh, down there it only gets down to maybe about zero. But wow. uh, we'll be a little bit higher. We'll be more secluded. I'm not a city person. I've never been a city person. Billings is too big for me anyway. It always has been. Oh so we're going to move down to some more secluded area, and we're hopefully, at some point, we'll see how spirit guides us, but at some point, we may be starting a retreat center for everybody who is watching to come out and, and be part of a of a spiritual retreat. Beautiful. We're not sure how that's going to work. We have to look into all kinds of things before we get there. It'll probably be a year or two before we do that, because of, you know, you got to find the right property, mm-hmm. you got to find, you know. You got to make the the, the uh, nonprofit organization to be able to do that, and so forth. And we got to get to know all the different laws and zoning zoning things and so forth of where we're going to be. So it's going to take a while. Um, we're not even sure if we're going to settle there this this winter. We might buy the property this winter, but there may not be any any dwelling on it. So we might be running around the country for the winter. Oh, Just, well, I, you look yeah. good. You look like this is what you're meant to be doing. you got some energy going on about you today. And yeah, as an energy healer, yeah, I mean, I don't know. There's something going on. So I'm excited for this move for you. And you guys must be, too, as hard as it is. It's just so meant to be. Exciting, exciting. So what else did you want to talk about for today for those new time listeners who now know you're moving? Tell us about who you are, what you right. do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, my name is Keith Good, Reiki practitioner, spiritual seeker um, at Good Holistic Healing. We, uh, you can reach me at, good, at info at goodholistichealing.com, or you can uh, go on to goodholistichealing.com and see what we have to offer. You can also make a phone call and call at 406-272-6006, and that phone probably will not be changing anytime soon. So that's still going to be a good phone number, even though we might be out of state. That's a, obviously 406 is Montana's um, area code, but we'll leave that for a while anyway. Um, first, I want to start off. I made two. I misspoke, and it's been almost, what, three weeks or so since we've spoken. But I made two. I misspoke twice in the last episode. One, I said that the third eye was connected to the pituitary, but it's actually connect- connected to the pineal gland. Oh, okay. See, you fooled me. But <laughs> well, the pineal gland is the third eye. Pineal gland is almost looks like a pine cone wow. in the base of your head. <laughs> and it's right back in the back, sort of in the back of your brain, just hanging down between the two, the, the two cerebral sides, right and left. So that's the first thing I wanted to correct was that it is in the pineal gland. The other one is is that I said that we would not need churches mm-hmm. if everybody learned how to meditate. Wow. <laughs> Excuse me. And the truth of the matter is we wouldn't need churches as they exist today. They would become more of a spiritual guide or guidance and a spiritual um, meditation spot mm-hmm. instead of 
using the doctrines that we have today and and mis misrepresenting uh, the actual teachings that are there help people to do what i do help people to break down the parables because the parables are very um complicated for some people because we don't think in that manner mm -hmm. so and and, and uh, so um so that's why I, well, those are the two things that i misspoke about the last time that i wanted to bring out correct okay thank um, you for that to me, those are pretty important because we don't want to say the churches no. are no longer no. needed at mm -hmm. all because they are going to be needed. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing that. I appreciate it and correcting that. And um, just for those new timers out there coming to our show today, I want to point out, um, you know, goodsholistichealing.com is how we can reach you. And as an energy healer, you're doing so much helping people. And now you're moving. Oh, this is great. You're a crystal healer. Uh, you can deal with uh, people's chakras and heal them. And uh, as a Reiki master, what did you want to discuss for us today to help our mind, bodies, and souls? Well, what I want to really go into today is sort of expand on what we talked about sure. the last time. Um, hopefully, we haven't it hasn't been so long that people forgot. <laughs> they might <laughs> have, they so do, refresh I, us. I, so if they do, you know, I invite them to go and revisit the uh, at least the audio of the podcast and see what was said. But um, yeah, the, the last time we mentioned about meditating. Uh -huh. And we spoke about meditating in without any sound, without any senses. And so we want to get into a little bit of that about how do we how do we calm ourselves down? We spoke a little bit about using a little bit of yoga to calm us down and some breath work. Um, yoga in itself, and I think I mentioned this in the last one, was that yoga originally is designed. There's a lot of yoga out there that is designed today for mm -hmm. just physical physical um corrections and so forth but through the spiritual side of yoga the people doesn't realize that yoga is actually a very spiritual situation and, it, and it's mostly about getting yourself centered okay we talked a little bit about opposites last time and if you feel you have a right and a left which would be i did that opposite because of people seeing me um if we talk about a right and left wrong and a right you know, good and bad, um, so on and so forth. What we're trying to do is center that. So yoga helps us to center ourselves so that we can center the opposites. And that's what that's where the meditation comes in, is about centering the opposites into, instead of using the right and left eye, we use the third eye, which is in the center, which is, of course, right down the spine, right down our center of our body. So that's what yoga, that's what what um meditation will do will help us to center into ourselves because when we center to ourselves we we be, we go beyond being the child or son or daughter of man to being the son or daughter of god mm -hmm. hence when jesus said i am the son of god is because he was centered wow not because not because he was any better than any of us and we have that issue is that we think that he, uh, these gurus are better than us and they're not we all have the same mm -hmm. opportunities and the same capabilities of doing this we don't have they don't have anything different than we do other than the stamina and the want to move on so that's all that's all we have to do um I, I one time, and I might have mentioned this before, I, like I say, I don't have any of my notes because of everything is in disarray. We just closed on Monday and everything is just everywhere. Oh, okay, perfect. But I may have, okay. I may have mentioned this before, but I had a dream one time because I've always said to myself, how do I get rid of my ego and become spirit? And this one day I woke up with this dream and it said, it's as easy as taking your clothes off. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean... Or it's just, it's, I'm sure they said it, it said it was as simple as taking your clothes off. But that doesn't mean it's easy. It just means that that's the idea is to take the outside off and go inside. It's that simple. I mean, the, the, the theory is that simple. But the, 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 you know, I mean, I don't know about anybody else, but I know that I'll trip over my own pants trying to take them off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it doesn't become an easy <laughs> job always to take my clothes yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, of course. So, so that's what we do. We'll yeah. trip over ourselves trying to take our ego or trying to move the ego out of the way so we can get into spirit. Because we are so in, entrenched in using our five senses. 
we want to everything i mentioned to, to a lady i think it was last night actually we were talking about something and i said it was i said it had a metaphysical meaning and she didn't even know what the word metaphysical meant but she went and looked it up on a scientific manner and then when she came back this is a waitress i mean she came back to the table and i said well no it's not scientific it's metaphysical i don't know what metaphysical means i said well it's sort of the unknown spiritual side of things mm -hmm. you know and so the point is is that we are so geared to an evidentiary system everything has to have evidence we don't have any and there is evidence for everything spiritual if you find it if you look for it it's it's just not the evidence of the physical evidence it's evidence inside yourself mm -hmm. nobody can say what creates life mm. scientifically nobody knows how life works <laughs> we know that it exists we know that it's gone physical life but we don't know why mm. We, I mean, the science says, well, when your heart stops or your brain stops, you're dead. But what made it start to begin with? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, you know, it's so fascinating. It's so fascinating. Wow. So there is no evidence of life even. So everything that we have science for is 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 <laughs> third dimensional evidence. Wow. It's not, it's, you know, and, 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 yeah. you know, we talked a little bit and I'm sort of jumping around here a little bit, but it's okay. We, we talked always a little do that. Bit That's of, all right. <laughs> we talked a little bit about Carmela last time. And I said, you have to see if you can believe in it. And the truth of the matter is the truth is there, whether you believe it or not. Mm hmm. It is. <laughs> We don't have to believe it for it to be true. Yeah. Yeah. Because it just is. And it's up to us to get in contact with it, mm -hmm. whatever that is. If we choose not to believe it, doesn't erase it. You know, even even the Christians, and this is funny to me. I was reading one time where the I forget what emperor it was or whoever it was, but it was for the one in the for the that made that in the uh conflict. The conference of Constantinople where they created the Nicene Creed and put it into the Christian church and so forth and uh, they at that point decided not to believe in reincarnation anymore mm -hmm. up until then up until three five hundred and thirty five I think it was AD Christians believed in reincarnation mm. and the reason I was told and this is a funny story I think the reason I was told that is because the king or the pharaoh or the emperor, whoever it was that decided this, had done so many bad things, he did not want to be reincarnated into these bad things because wow. of all these bad things. So he decided <laughs> there was no such thing as reincarnation and karma. Oh my so gosh. That's, how, that's how things change in the world is that we make the decisions not to believe. We, don't be, we aren't as open-minded as we should. Yeah. And if you go into a meditation and 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 try to center yourself, bring the right and left together into the center, you will find that there is much more to this world, there's much more to this universe, mm -hmm. there is much more to everything than what we realize. There is so much going on that, you know, we once said here several episodes ago that we... <laughs> We are not a, a body with a spirit, but rather, rather we are a spirit with a body. Mm -hmm. So when we look at things opposite, we can see that if spirit comes first, we need to find spirit. Wow. And to find spirit is through meditation. And that's the <sighs> essence of the meditation. Is, <laughs> yes. Well, if we, yeah, we are, you're exactly right. Um, if we're, made in the image of god it's the spirit that's made that's that image not necessarily the physical so if we're made in the image of god mm -hmm. we already have part of god in us because we're already his image i agree yep so therefore as we mentioned last time the spirit of of god the christ consciousness everything is already there so if we work toward that then a lot of other things become um more oh i don't like the word unnecessary but they become more um um less useful you know we don't have to 
worry about the different types of healings that are out there. Those healings that I do, the Reiki, the crystal healing, the chakra healing, are all done to, to, and for me, are all done to stimulate energies working so that you, you, a person can be centered and become the meditative, centered Christ consciousness that they, that they should be. So it's all about starting the ener- <clears throat> starting the energies moving where everybody where that person then becomes their own person to go beyond that through meditation and uh, um, looking into themselves and finding that they can heal themselves just through meditation. Meditation is by far the ultimate healer. Okay, because you're now getting out of your body and letting your body have spirit heal it and not have physical heal it not have physical essences of of um crystals or of medicine or of of um herbs or anything else even though those things help i'm not saying they don't help and they can they can create a a situation where for instance if you can reduce the inflammation of something it will heal faster you know because there's no longer any inflammation although inflammation is needed because that's what says there's something wrong and that's what stimulates the body to fight it but that's all in the physical if you go to the spiritual side the spiritual side will fit will we're not here to follow will, the old uh, rules of money heal you much we're much more the new ones person for me i feel like money like that does. did you hit something we all win or I just call it. Money like I a woman. hear something on the screen it's like an ad or something <laughs> do you hear that i don't hear it Nope. I don't know you what happened, so I apologize. I hear something on the screen. I might have hit a button. I'm so sorry. I'm like, what is that sound? It sounded like an advertisement. I'm like, I didn't go to commercial. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Um, but I'm can, all right. That's weird. Ooh. I got the goosebumps. The weird things kind of happen, like people seeing <laughs> orbs and all that. And then I got to ask the question, right? It's like, do you believe in UFOs? Or, you know, and, and I'm not going there today, but fascinating stuff. Uh, I just saw a Netflix trailer for something before, so now I'm like spooked out. Anyway, back to that's okay. Keith, Good. all that all that stuff is probably true. I agree, hundred <laughs> percent. But we don't we don't we don't have the we don't have the the uh, open enough mind to believe in things that are not the, the understanding. You know. Yep, I agree. I agree, hundred percent. Oh. There was a time, if you think about it, I don't know how many people have seen this this uh, analogy, but the Native Americans of the United States never saw the ships that Columbus came in on because they never saw a ship before. Good point. <laughs> so they didn't know that it was. They didn't even know what it was when they finally did recognize something. But originally, they never saw it because it was something that they were not trained to see. Wow! Yeah, think about that. It's so different that in each the eye of the beholder. So if we're yeah. trained, if we're trained not to see UFOs, we're not going to see them. Mm-hmm. You know, I like to call those people that are in the UFOs and so forth star people because they're sort of out of our out of our our league, our atmosphere. Our, yeah, yes, exactly. You know, I don't know if they're out of our league because we can be there that's the whole part that's what we're doing is ascending that way you know we are trying to ascend the entire earth by gaining what we're doing here today is trying to increase the, the collective consciousness of the world mm-hmm. so true as we increase the collective consciousness of the world we will increase to a different dimension wow. we will expand on to a different dimension totally of, uh, all over the world and We'll be closer to those star people's mm-hmm. dimensions. I love you know, they the have star to. People, a lot of them yes. have to dumb. They have to dumb themselves down mm. to a, to our dimension yeah. in order for us to see them. Mm-hmm. You know, they have to lower their vibration. Is what is really what it is in order to be in this dimension, to be sighted in this dimension. Otherwise, we would never see them. That's why. You'll talk to people who say, well, it just disappeared in thin air. Mm-hmm. Well, that's because it did not, it never went anywhere. It just changed dimensions. Yeah. It went from the third dimension to the fourth dimension, which we can't see. Okay. It's still sitting at the same place. Amazing. You know, that's a possibility. You know, that's something that people can think about. 
and 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 we'll ascend there at some point you know it's i mean there is no this is eternity there is no rush to do any of this Mm -hmm. (laughs) this is eternity here you know we can be here a million years trying to get to where we need to be yeah you know and and, i mean who says i see we're almost out of time already holy cow five more minutes we're good we're good we're good (laughs) yeah who says that uh what when we speak of reincarnation who says we have to be reincarnated back to earth yeah who says we can't be reincarnated on another planet somewhere else in the universe (laughs) you're right it's true Mm. Ooh, i get all these goosebumps today (laughs) you know when we talk about life we're only looking for carbon life yeah what if there's other life out there that has no carbon in it at all (sighs) so we can't conceive because we only conceive the carbon you know, that's why they can't carbon date rocks is because there's no carbon in it. Mm-hmm. But they're pretty old. That's crazy. <laughs> you know? It is. Absolutely. So, so you know, there's a lot of things to think about with all this stuff and how it all works. And 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 I'll say this real quick, too, is that there's so much out there and everybody. And I think I mentioned this before, mm-hmm. but it's worth saying again is that as you look into this stuff you will you will say especially at the beginning you will say what in the world how does this all work together mm-hmm. yep and eventually it will start coming together but if, at the beginning you go down all these rabbit holes that seem so disoriented from each other mm-hmm. but they really aren't in a way because it's all part of spirit it's all part of the heavenly father it's all part of god's source whatever you want to call them um and it makes it all work together i mean look at the ecosystems you know they all work together and they have to have all these things mm-hmm. they to work do. you know oh. so the lichen has to have the rock and the this and the, and the and the dead wood and so forth in order to work and the reason that lichen's there is for some other critter to eat it, and some, you know, it's an eco. So everything has its purpose, and it's all, and it's all purpose through the creation of of the higher power. Beautifully said. And you know, it's it's very intricate, more intricate than than mankind can ever conceive. Oh, my goodness! Wow, we are just diving into like the unknown today, which I love. Just random, <laughs> which is good, right? I mean, it's on. You got your move going on. You got a lot of a. Uh, Driving to do a lot of thinking on that drive. Do you do all the driving, by the way? Oh yes. Ah, I do how long driving. do you drive at once? You like? Do you have to stop? Well, that depends on that depends on uh, who I have with me. <laughs> Got it. Got it. If I'm by myself, if I'm by myself, I'll I'll drive. I don't know, six eight hundred miles a day. God bless you. Wow. Well, I was an old truck driver. I drove truck drive truck for years and years and years. So. A day's work, ten hours a day is about t- about six hundred miles. Wow. But I don't I, now that I'm now that I'm doing this, I I want to take my time. So we're looking at maybe three to four hundred miles a day. Got it. Oh, slowing down it's, a little, nice pace. Shop, look around. Well, it's, it, that still makes that still makes about two two days, two and a half days to get down to to. Uh, it's about six hundred miles, six hundred and fifty miles to Colorado Springs okay. from here. Oh my gosh! About five, about five hundred to Cheyenne. Amazing. So yeah. So we'll we'll see how it goes. We're not in any rush, but we're trying to get down into that area before Thanksgiving, so we're not fighting the Thanksgiving traffic. Exactly, that's a smart thing. And um, how did you want to leave off for today? People want to reach out to you, share, you know, um, a little bit about how they, you know, that you could help them, even while you're on the road. You could stop, pull over, do a session. Absolutely. Yeah, Ab- absolutely. That's why I, that's this is the reason I went virtual. Yeah, was so that I could help them no matter where I am while I'm doing all this. Um, so yeah, reach out goodtolistichealing dot com, info at goodtolistichealing dot com, or four zero six two seven two six zero zero six. There is a free one hour consultation, and of course, I have my YouTube channel up, which yep. is just going to YouTube and search for good holistic healing and it'll come up um we have about 27 i think 27 actually these these videos go on there so anybody that can't see the video can only hear the audio if they go onto the youtube channel eventually they'll get on there we're we're like three months two months behind on that but Got they'll it. get them we'll catch up well best of luck so wait so next week's thanksgiving so i guess we're not we're not on next week right so i have to say um 
Two weeks. Great. So let me say best of luck with your travels. I hope you and the family have a great Thanksgiving and uh, excited uh, about your adventure and the possibility of something new and different and just so, it's so beautiful and so brave. So I commend you on that for well, sure. We're just we're just going where, where we feel we're being guided. See? And that's what all it takes sometimes. People, listen up. If you're out there, you have a feeling, a calling, you know, you should really kind of, you know, don't push it away. Embrace it, right? Even though maybe a little different. Maybe you're not aware of what it's going on. That's all part of the game, isn't it? Yes. Fear is only, the only fear, the definition of fear is not trusting your higher power. Beautifully said. Well, thank you so much. Pleasure seeing you again. Keith, uh, good uh, joining us live here on the show. And uh, have a great Thanksgiving. We'll talk again soon. Thanks so much. Thank you. And thank you for everybody watching. Same here. Bye, Keith. Enjoy. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. When it comes to making plans, you are the best. What about those round trips that you plan in advance, which are perfect on your way there and perfect on your way back? Or those meetings with friends for which you make a group chat three months before so that nobody or anything is missing? Or your daughter's first birthday party? You planned it with such dedication that instead of the first, it felt like our quince's. The same way you plan each detail for those moments. Start planning to protect you and your loved ones from a natural disaster. Sign up for local weather and emergency alerts. Prepare an emergency kit and make a family communications plan. Protecting your family is the best plan you can make. Get started at ready.gov plan. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council. 